Again, so what is just what is what is that what emotion do you think about when you think about that? How, how does that make you feel? How would you feel if you lose? Yeah. Exactly. Yo, 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 what's up, YouTube? I'm back with another banger with y'all, man. If you're new to the channel, go that like button, subscribe, and go comment. This is my week 13 prediction. The Broncos versus Ravens. This is gonna be another um it's us for the Ravens uh, this week coming. I know we had, a, I know we fell short to the uh, Jacksonville Jaguars. Uh, unfortunately, but I gotta get some credit when it's there. Man, that team was ready for us, man. They finally get a win off of us, man. And I just think the Ravens kind of relied on Justin Tucker to get that win. So nothing guaranteed when it comes to the game of football. Nothing guaranteed when it comes to life. But anyway, and I want, I want them to say, why the media in the NFL is keep picking on Lamar Jackson? I'm just. I'm just tired of the kids. They keep burning this man to the. They just trying to get into this man head. Talking about his college record and everything. What do his college playoff game got, got to do with anything with his NFL career? Like, come on, man. They gotta stop it. But let's move forward. But anyway, shout out to the um, Lamar Jackson once again for stepping up, bringing his A game to the table. But unfortunately, the rest of the offense just just couldn't get it together. You know, Mark Andrews dropping passes. He didn't slow down, and it, it, it is really making me mad, man. Like. Come on, Andrews. It, it really makes me mad. But back to what I was saying, um, he's dropping passes. He's, he's just looking bad, man. He's he just looking bad, man. And um, shout out to Oliver and Break. Those guys, you know, stepped up, got some yards in, you know, because that definitely can put a little different look on the Ravens offense, which I wish I had mentioned beginning of the season. So try to use the tight ends on different uh, different routes and different situations, and I think it definitely will bring the offense a better look instead of throwing from this tight end, that tight end, that tight end. It got to be certain plays where these guys get the ball. And, um, and the wide receivers. Y'all got to step it up this week coming up. I know DeMarcus Robinson has been, like, the, the, the top guy at the uh, Ravens wide receiver court, but Devin DuVernay, come on, man. You got to step it up a little bit. I know you, you, you my top. You my guy, too, man. I, you still is my guy. But, but season, sometime in the, in, the, in, the, in the sports season, you have your ups and downs. So hopefully Devin DuVernay will come up to us ups after this, uh, once this, this, week, this week coming up, week 13. But I got big faith in the Ravens uh, wide receiver core. And uh, shout out to the uh, Deshaun Jackson. You know, for doing what he do, he's a veteran. So what more can he? I'm not gonna put so much on a veteran, but he definitely brought us a different, uh, put us in a different situation last week with the uh, with the clutch catch. But that still wasn't good enough for the win. So I guess we gotta try another way to win these games. But um, and shout out to the um, and shout out to the offensive line. And they, I, I still haven't seen Lamar Jackson get hit as much, but. Orlando Brown keep having these injuries, man. I'm like, man, he just always good out with an injury. He was just out beginning of the season with an injury. He come back for three games and the in the same result. Like, this guy just cannot get away from injuries at all. And um and the running backs. The running backs gotta step it up, man. Come on, Drake. Where the hell was you at last week? I ain't seen not one, not even ten yard game from Drake. I'm like, this ain't the usual guy he's saying at all. He it was just it was just kind of baffling, man. I'm like, come on, man. Where's this offense? I think the offense is not fully clicked on this week against the Jaguars. I don't know if they, were they were they comfortable with the Jaguars defense, but that team is young and they play hard, man. They play hard to the end. And, and view the Ravens, man. Don't sleep on these 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 losing teams, man. Cause they cause misery definitely loves company. They don't want us to get to the playoffs. They don't want to get nowhere. So we gotta keep these win goings and, and the offense gotta step it up, man. Cause they looked pretty shitty last week. So we were prepared for the best and hope for the worst. So but I'm hoping for the better for the Ravens offense. And the defense. And the defense. Come on, y'all. Where was y'all at in the fourth quarter last week? I'm like, this cannot happen. This week coming up, man. I was very, very irritated on how the Ravens giving up play after play after play after play. I'm like, yo, this can't be happening. The linebackers weren't really there this week. Patrick Queen only had one sack and that was it. We gotta do better, man, because it was very sloppy. And um, I just don't want to see the same results we had got from last week. But for the Ravens defense, we got so much potential, but we always sit under the crack. But yeah, like I was saying, man, this 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 offense, this defense, got to step it up a bit. We got to we got to tighten up on some things. You know, we kind of let we kind of let the door open for uh, Jacksonville offense. So learn from last week's game. Don't let Denver, don't let don't let Denver be the game that that screw that screw us up because 
I, I was very, very highly upset with what I see on that football field. So I'm just hoping they can step it up, turn things around a bit. Because, man, it was looking it was looking really bad out in that field uh, in the fourth quarter of the game. So they got to turn things around if you the Ravens offense. So that's all I got to say. Um, don't give up any leads. You know, if you're going, going into Denver, because Denver is definitely a team you definitely want to watch out for. They very unpredictable. You don't know what this team can bring to the table. And of course, they, and that's another thing. They also have a losing season. But I think the Raiders could definitely put this put this uh put this win, put this win in the air, because I'm tired of just getting these these unnecessary losses, man. It's really frustrating to be a Raiders fan. No, no, we have so much potential as a team, but we always come up short. Always come up short. But um that's all I gotta say, man. If you're new to the channel, go hit that like button, subscribe, go comment, and uh, I'll be back with my I'll be back with more videos coming to you soon. Um, if you're new to the channel, feel free to uh, do do whatever you can to support the channel. I appreciate everything. Share this channel, and um, that's it. <laughs> you folks, stay blessed, stay safe. I'm out with it, world peace.